Emily B. I'm from the United States and I'm going to talk about the compound bow. Um, a compound bow, it has the riser similar to the recurve and the limbs and a compound bow has cams and modules and instead of only a string, along with the string there are cables. So the string system on the compound bow helps me pull back. So instead of pulling back 43 pounds the whole time, when I get back about halfway, the poundage drops and I'm only holding about 12. So it's like a pulley system helping me. These are stabilizers. Um, everyone sets them up a little bit differently and they help balance the bow when I shoot. But what I use to aim with with my compound is my Excel sight and this scope. And the scope is magnified so when I look through it, the target looks a little bit bigger. There is a little tiny dot. Some people use rings to look through but I have a dot which I put right in the middle of the yellow. So on the back string here, I have what's called a peep sight. The peep sight helps me aim. So when I am looking through the sight, I see the scope lens and then the peep. And when I aim it up, it becomes more accurate. So my arrow sits on an arrow rest, which is similar to what we call like a lizard tongue. So it's a little metal thing just like this and the arrow rests right in between these two prongs. With a compound bow, I shoot a mechanical release. So here it rests in my fingers like this and my thumb goes just like that. And then it hooks on my string right here. I use a mechanical release over my fingers because it's more reliable and accurate. So these are my arrows. They're made of carbon. This is the tip, so the point that goes into the target. And then these are the fletchings and this is the knock. The knock goes onto the bowstring. My arrow travels about 200 miles per hour and 250 kilometers per hour. I like shooting my compound bow because it gives me a challenge to always improve and it gives me the ability to travel all around the world and meet different people.